move away from the world of Netflix TV adaptations and move towards the world of Netflix film adaptations. <laughs> There's a brand new pint-sized private eye in town, and she's Holmes grown. Last week, Netflix gave fans a first look at Enola Holmes, their new original movie starring Stranger Things' Millie Bobby Brown as the eponymous Enola Holmes, who's the younger sister of Sherlock and Mycroft Holmes. Now, joining the notorious MBB are Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes, Sam Claflin as Mycroft Holmes, and Helena Bonham Carter as the family matriarch Eudora Holmes. It's based on the Enola Holmes Mysteries books by Nancy Springer, and Enola Holmes looks like it's going to be this rollicking, fourth-wall-breaking adventure in the vein of, like, a young Sherlock Holmes. Now, full disclosure before we go any further, Nerdist is part of Legendary Digital Network, so this is technically from our cool corporate dad, but we'd be talking about this anyway. So that said, what did y'all think of the Enola Holmes trailer? Trisha, let's start with you. It looks so good. Um, I am totally on board. I think it looks really fun. We all know Millie Bobby Brown's an amazing actress. And I think there are a lot of us who find her quite lovable on screen. So that bodes well for them. Um, and yeah, the series just looks like a lot of fun. And it, Henry Cavill is on fire right now. So everyone wants to tune in for that. I uh, saw a really funny tweet that I retweeted that was like, this movie looks awesome. Uh, Henry Cavill rocking the Superman curl is a nice like throw in there for all the other all the other nerds checking this out. And also, we got a hot Sherlock. <laughs> yes. Like who in that writer's room was like, hold up now. What if Sherlock was hot? Which at first I was like, is this an insult to Benedict Cumberbatch? But I feel like they are <laughs> they are different. It's like apples and oranges. They're incredibly different. But yes, Henry Cavill here is Sherlock. I'm into it. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, the decision to make Sherlock Holmes a towering beef castle is just <laughs> inspired. Like, I was not, like, I'm so used to seeing, like, kind of, like, waifish genius Sherlock Holmes. That seeing him as, like, 900 pounds of pure muscle, I was like, all right. <laughs> You know what? I'm on board for this. Hey. You can yeah, you can you can lift and solve mysteries at the <laughs> same time. Uh, we have uh Doc we have uh Docker MC. I apologize if I butchered your username uh, in the chat saying I'm a fan of the books and they got a hell of a cast. I'm pretty psyched. Um, now I haven't read the books, but I'm curious, what do you hope this story adds to the sprawling world of Sherlock Holmes stories, Wendy? I am most interested in seeing the dynamic between Enola Holmes and Sherlock and Mycroft. Uh, there's, there's just a lot of like, what they're, they're all, obviously they're all super smart, super detective, Superman, super detective. And what, what is going to be really interesting in this version of it because of the age difference too, between Enola and Sherlock and Mycroft and kind of just their diff the, the biggest difference is the personality and how they're going to clash heads. And we saw a bit of that already in the trailer, which was really interesting, wanting to send Enola to some sort of, you know, just all girls school. And you're just kind of like, oh, she's not here for this. And I think that's just going to be a lot of fun, very cat and mouse and one trying to one outsmart the other. That's going to be the most fun, most exciting scene for me to look forward to. Yeah, we got a little taste of that family dynamic in there. And I got major quarantine vibes from uh, Enola and Eudora just like going through every single like activity you can do at home, ranging from like fencing to uh, bananagrams, excuse me, anagrams, not bananagrams. That is very different. <laughs> My brain is rattled right now. They had those in the early 1900s. <laughs> Yeah, they were, a, they were a big issue back in uh, Victorian era London. Um, speaking of big issues, the game is also afoot in a court of law because the Conan Doyle estate also filed a lawsuit alleging copyright infringement and trademark violations against Netflix, Legendary, Penguin Random House, and author Nancy Springer. And at the crux of this case is emotions, specifically depicting her Sherlock Holmes as a character with emotions. While many Sherlock Holmes stories are in fact in public domain, others produced in the later years are not. And the Conan Doyle estate claims that the movie adapts a version of the character from copyrighted stories which feature a warmer version of Sherlock Holmes. So Kyle, what are your non-slanderous thoughts about this that cannot affect us in a court of law? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> that's that's a tougher one. Uh, in general, I think that uh, uh, th way more things should be in the public domain way earlier than they are. And this has been something that's been going on in the last 20 or so years a lot is 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 companies and and uh, rights holders trying to hold on to their intellectual properties for longer because, you know, w when copyright law initially came into effect people were not expecting there to be like long-term franchise 
capabilities with these things at any rate. So the, the weird thing about this one is that there are 10 stories that are not, that are still covered by the, the Conan Doyle estate, but everything before that is considered public domain. So you might think that specifically adapting those 10 stories is the only way that that's going to be an issue, but they keep making this claim that the way the character was written was different between, you know, in the break. And that's something like, but, but if a character is in the public domain, anybody can write them any way they want to. So maybe, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to argue that they are copying these specific um, uh, 10 stories the way that the character is versus how this adaptation or this, you know, this version of the character as written by a new writer is imagining it. So it's, it's a really tough one. And I think, you know, up for most of it, the Conan Doyle state keeps not winning those cases because it is so hard to argue, um, you know, what is or what is not Sherlock Holmes in any given time. 